First of all, thank you to all my clients who gave me perfect ratings and uh, won me this service award. I appreciate it. Not a lot of people get it. <clears throat> anyway, so to move on to another tip for people looking to buy a house, uh, just remember that once you get an offer accepted, uh, the next step in the process is your 10-day inspection period. So a lot of things happen during that time. It's probably your busiest time during the process. Now remember that once your offer gets accepted, the very next day is the first day of your 10-day inspection. And you have 10 days into the midnight of the 10th day to really research a lot of different things. You are given a buyer advisory, which you, or you should get a buyer advisory from your realtor, and it goes over countless things that you should know about uh, researching for your house, because a lot of people don't know what to look for. It gives you websites to look up uh, sex offenders and crime rates for neighborhoods and a multitude of things. Um, another thing that you, got, you want to remember to do is check the insurance, make sure that there's no flood insurance needed, meaning that you're not in a flood zone, and check the rates for the insurance, make sure they're not too high for the area, a lot of things like that. So that first 10 days is going to be very important. Also make sure that you get an inspector who does a full report of the house, tells you every little detailed thing that you need to know about the house. And with that, you're going to fill out what's called a Binzer or a Buyer Inspection Notice Seller Response. So you're going to fill out this form of all the things you're hoping that the seller will fix for you. And uh, included in that is warranted items, which is a whole other thing. I'll get to that on another video. On this video, you're going to ask for certain things to be fixed that are important to you. The seller will then respond back to that. So that's another negotiation part of the contract too. At that point, depending on how it goes, you can ask for money in lieu of repairs or the seller may come back because it's a seller's market and say he's not fixing anything or is only fixing this or that. At that point, you'll be able to cancel your contract or decide that you still want to go forward even though they're not fixing everything you want. Typically, you ask for a certain amount of things. They respond with doing as much as they can, but that's standard. It, it doesn't, every contract doesn't happen that way, so every, every transaction is very different. But um, you just have to be prepared for the possibilities that could happen. So that's the tip for today, guys. Thanks.